It's almost Christmas, Svetlana. Come from the windowsill. If you are waiting for a sign or for a gift, you must wait until. Oh, the moon is bright, Daisy Dew. Is that why you are so still? It lights your face and your smile fights off the winter's chill. Would you like to have the evening light in your bedroom fill? He must come down from the outer spaces from over the hill. It's almost Christmas, Svetlana. Come from the window's sill. He's coming as soon as he can. He must, as he should, he will. Luna. I think the first thing that struck me about St. Petersburg, Russia, was visually was the trolleybus. <laughs> they have uh, they have buses. They have buses that run on cantonary wires. I know, throwing out a, 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 a whatever, an overhead wire. And they have trolley buses. Outright streetcars, basically. And the snow. I was always there in the winter. The snow. <laughs> Ulitsa. Street. Ulitsa. And I would stand out in front of my hotel room. Waiting for you know who to come and get me, because I wasn't allowed off the grounds, okay? I was a prisoner in Russia while I was there. I was a, I was a bear, baby bear. Mushutka was kept in his cage in the hotel room. He wasn't allowed to, he could go outside and smoke a cigar. She never knew I talked to that Ukrainian girl. Shh, don't tell her. She never knew. Remember the story way back? I don't know, it's somewhere in there about the Ukrainian girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, she never knew that. But one time, she came into the hotel room. Right, right. She came over to collect me. I don't know where we were going. Ballet, we were doing something. And I had created this imaginary lover. And I'm not talking, who is that? Oh, man. Atlanta Rhythm Section, ARS. Imaginary lover. No. Ah. ARS. No. Atlanta Rhythm Section, Imaginary Lover. Damn it, I don't know. So I had created this Imaginary Lover and I called her Natalie, uh, Natalia, excuse me. Well, it could be Natalie, but yeah, we are in St. Petersburg, Russia, so I think we should go with Natalia. And she comes over to get me. Or to get me, if you know what I mean. I've never been so, I've never been so attacked in all my life. That way, you know what I'm saying. I'm just a, I was just a gigolo. I was an American gigolo in St. Petersburg, Russia. <laughs> All the pain. <sighs> Not really. And so she came one day, and I was like, <laughs> and I made like there was somebody in the bathroom, right? <laughs> <sighs> Natalia. And she went and looked. She peeked into the bathroom. God, that made my heart good. Now, she doesn't speak much English. So even if she ever hears this, probably not. By the time she realizes that I busted her ass out completely on YouTube, I'll be dead. You know, I hope. Because <laughs> I'll be dead if not. <laughs> yeah, man, she stuck her head right in the bathroom looking for Natalia. And I was like, Oh, that did my heart good. I could be a little mischievous. A little bit. It's Christmas week. In Russia, it's Orthodox, so it's January 7th. Uh, 
the square, the park. There's trees everywhere, decorated trees. It's very beautiful. There's not much on, uh, they're not big, big on uh, boxes wrapped in pretty paper with bows beneath the trees. They're more on the trees and decorating the trees. And for that, I have to give them props. I think they best us there. Oh, I know they do. Where will you carry Christmas? Will you carry it in your pocketbook? Or will you carry it in your heart? Peace.